Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome everyone again uh, for this new session called Network Analytics, a Catalyst for NFE and SDN Transformation. My name is Balaji Itarajulu, so I work in Ericsson uh, in Business Unit Cloud and IP. Uh, let's go and look at uh, what is this, uh, you know, today's uh, topic, uh, today's uh, session all about. So at the beginning of this session, first couple of slides, I'm going to cover wh what's happening in the telecom industry and its impact on the network. Followed by that, uh, I'll cover um, how that impacts the analytics itself uh, uh, and the service assurance. In the past, uh, we have the you know, very reactive and a little bit proactive service assurance and possibly almost no analytics uh, that we applied a lot in telecom networks. So that'll, that'll change as part of this NFE and SDN. So actually, the service assurance and ana analytics will play a catalyst role uh, for the SDN and NFE transformation. And finally, I'll talk about uh, you know, the solution that is needed to address these, uh, these demands. Let's go to the very first slide uh, I talked about in my previous presentation as well. So it took about 100 years to connect a billion uh, people. Uh, yeah. Then now, uh, it took only 25 years to connect another 5 billion uh, uh, people. So it was a big inflection point that we connected uh, uh, five times more people within one, for, you know, within one fourth of the time period compared to 100 years. Uh, followed by that, we also forecast by 2020, there will be about 25 billion connected devices. Uh, we also maintain our vision of 50 billion devices as well. Okay. Um, in this slide, I'm going to talk about one network delivering services to multiple industries. Uh, so as you see here uh, on the cloud side, you can have uh, you know, different uh, uh, services uh, that will be delivered to different vertical industry. I also talk about uh, you know, the network society and 5G networks. So uh, the 5G network is not about uh, you know, like LTE, the 4G moving to 5G. 5G networks, what in our, uh, in our uh, terminology, is actually starting from the cloud, different services from the data center, passing through the, including the entire transport, and also the access networks. The whole thing is a 5G, what we call, not just a radio access network. So as you see, uh, as part of this uh, uh, 5G networks, the networks are, uh, uh, we are enabling very smart networks. Uh, the networks will be uh, service aware and programmable. So this enables us to actually fine tune, actually create slices for the network, right? So this also, Im uh, this will impact a lot on the service sessions and analytics, and I'll talk about it in the next few slides. Um, so as you see, uh, the challenge here is uh, for the service assurance and analytics, the challenge here is uh, today uh, the network functions and the physical infrastructure there together. Many areas, right? We, we were not gone to NFE already. So it was a little bit easier to do the service assurance and the analytics because we get uh, actually our smart physical proprietary hardware working tightly coupled with the network function. We're able to manage that. It was much easier service assurance. Now, what will happen is the physical layer is moving to the cloud. That means the uh, network function will work on various different physical uh, layer, right? Uh, it could be many other data center gears. So that means the service assurance actually need to collect data across various data center, both heterogeneous data center and distributed data center, and also collect the data from the hybrid networks. Because what we see is hybrid networks will be there for a foreseeable period of time. We know what happened in the TDM to IP transformation. It's still there are networks. We started in 1990s, IP transformation. It's still uh, there are TDM networks in, in the world, right? So we'll see uh, this will take uh, quite a period uh, time to convert all the VNF, PNF to the VNF. And there will be hybrid networks. Some of them will never maybe uh, transform to NFE. They have to be physical. That means the service assurance and analytics should actually include the whole hybrid network, right? Physical and virtual. That's the key. Uh, these are the challenges for the, uh, for the service assurance and analytics domain. Now the solution is obviously you know, taking the data from all the hybrid networks and correlating the data. So that will be the solution. And also very key point here compared to the previous to create the automation for uh, the, you know, to create the automation that is provided by the NFE SDN networks. So we need to do some predictive analytics. Uh, so the predi we can use the ability of the predictive analytics first time, and we can actually, for, uh, you know, at high confidence level, we can tell, okay, this specific KPI will affect traffic at specific time. 
So we can actually do the capacity planning if it is a longer duration, or for a shorter duration, we can actually spin up a couple of CPUs or even a VNF to address those needs. Thus closing the automation, right? closing the loop. Uh, obviously, the result is a very dynamic hybrid network, well optimized for various services. Now, uh, this is one of the solutions that uh, I was talking about to address these needs, uh, Ericsson Network Manager. What we have is uh, the Ericsson Network Manager has many functions. It has a virtual network function manager under Mono architecture. It also manages, is a domain manager for various uh, network elements and various technologies. In addition to that, it has also has an analytics function. If, for, for this presentation, I'm mainly going to address the analytics function in that. So what it does is it collects, obviously it's a uh, truly multi-vendor system. It can collect data from different uh, cloud infrastructure, uh, different hybrid, uh, different, uh, different network functions. Also it can collect data from different domain managers from other vendors. So we take all the data and our data processing system actually, uh, what the, the, the um, technology, what we call is a standard, it's called extract, transform and load. It takes all the data and the data processing system correlates and loads and parses and loads into the database. Now, uh, the, um, this data is fed to the machine learning algorithm, which will provide us the key insights and conclusions that we can use to take automated response, to do an automated response and close the loop. So that's what the machine learning will do, machine learning algorithm. And then we can use this for capacity planning or even for network slicing that we talked in the previous uh, presentation. So as you see here at the bottom, what, what all the uh, technologies and the multi-technology and multi-layers and the domains that we cover, we cover radio, the transport, and the core on the physical layer. Then also we take data from the SDN controller, which is open daylight. We also take data from Celometer uh, in OpenStack. We take data from OVS. This is a typical example. Obviously, there is no limit. So because it is purely an analytic solution, you know, that doesn't see the big difference between what is uh, where the data is coming from. It is the intelligence that we have in the system that correlates the data. Then also this is ready for the 5G. So the key part here is I'm going to stress here is uh, obviously if something happens uh, in the data center, if there is a load, uh, the tendency is at the infrastructure layer we can add a bunch of CPU VMs. Well, in a real life situation in the telecom network, that may not even address the problem. Because just I'll, sh I'll show that as an example here. So what we call in our solution is NFE application aware scaling. So the scaling needs to be very smartly done based on the application because that is where delivering service to the end users. Uh, the CPU uh, or the VMs or you know, the storage, you know, that's at the infrastructure layer. Just by adding them, you're just throwing the assets on the problem that may not solve the problem. So I'll show that in a little bit details. So here I'm showing uh, in this slide, uh, you know, the little bit more uh, zoomed in. So where we take the data from? We take data from the PNFs and the VNF, including the third party VNFs, and also the NFEA network function virtual infrastructure, take data from the open daylight and open stack. The next slide, and this is the slide I was talking about. So uh, for this specific demo, by the way, there is a demo also. We have the demo uh, in our demo booth in D5. So in this demo, we take the data from our uh, virtual EPG and then we actually correlate that with the cellometer data and the OVS data that comes from the open stack. Uh, sorry, the cellometer comes from the open stack. And then all this data is fed to the machine learning algorithm that creates the cloud load prediction. Okay, and then we use the policy engine and the orchestration, which is workflow, to automatically close the loop and basically spin up an additional CPU just before the event occurs, traffic event. I'll go into a little bit detail in the next slide. So this is the topology view of from the Ericsson Network Manager where see, you see the data center, you see on the left side a uh, bunch of hosts. There are three hosts, and each of them has EPG1, EPG2, and EPG3. You can see, you can see the virtual line card there, right? Virtual routing processor and uh, control plane. So, and then uh, next slide I'm gonna show a little bit about the KPIs here, what the specific KPI. So here, if you see on the top uh, left, uh, purple color, I guess. Uh, uh, what that means is the system has, uh, you know, the operator has selected many KPIs that they want based on that KPI. It's all traffic affecting KPI. It could be coming from different VNFs and they want to take certain action. They decide some KPI they may want to do a manual action. Some KPIs they want to do an automated action. It's all operator will design that based on their experience and knowledge of that network. 
So this spe specific KPI, what it says the system, uh, it'll actually, uh, m this specific KPI will actually increase the utilization, maximum utilization of the CPU resources in the data source. It'll drive up, so we know that. And also the system predicts at a very high confidence level of say 85 to 90 percent that will impact the CPU resources. Now there are two ways to look at this on, in this problem. So without applying the analytics, you see the scenario one and scenario two. In scenario one, we're not applying the analytics, right? Nothing is applied. So that means when the KPI hits, when the traffic hits, right, the cloud infrastructure is going to see, oh, my, this green, the green lines are the actual CPU, CPU VMs. The brown line is the actual traffic affecting, impacting KPI. So that's going up. So the obviously the green line's also going up, about eight or nine CPUs there. And then the cloud infrastructure, there is also uh, cloud infrastructure, there's a monitoring system that monitors as part of the infrastructure, looks at, oh wow, I got about eight or nine CPUs running hot, I'm gonna throw CPU nine and 10. But if you see on the scenario one, it didn't solve the problem. Because telephony traffic, many of our operators, they know, it's not like straightforward thing. Because people, when there is a congestion in the network, people will keep on try. And actually, traffic will go exponentially higher. So throwing a CPU resources much later after the event doesn't solve the problem. You see the CPU is still running hot. The nine and 10 on the right hand side, right? These two, it's not coming down. So basically you're losing some amount of money there because traffic is affected. But on the bottom scenario too, that's what we're talking about. Applying analytics ahead of the using analytics. You're making a NFE application aware scaling, right? So what happens is we know our EPG, the specific KPI is going to hit uh, is going to actually utilize more CPU at certain point. And based on the time period, about five or 10 minutes before, we can actually instantiate, you saw the previous diagram, we can instantiate additional CPU resources for that specific uh, KPI or specific VNF. What happens, the CPU is already instantiated, if you see right here, the green one, before the event occurs. So you can see the load comes pretty dramatically because uh, as soon as the enough uh, processing power is that it can handle the traffic right away instead of you know, exponentially increasing the other traffic loads related to the you know, main traffic event. So that's a big significant difference applying the NFE of our scaling at the application layer rather than doing at the cloud infrastructure layer. Maybe it's also required that, but this is key. Uh, the way you do it, you can see the difference. The last, uh, just the key takeaways, uh, the, the analytics, and service assurance will play a major role uh, for the automation and network agility towards the NFE and SDN. We also see in the past, uh, most of us are aware when we operators will build their networks and then uh, they actually uh, buy the management systems and they also buy the fulfillment system, many things, monitoring system. But what we see is the investment now as part of this transformation, they are very well aware the role of the service assurance and the analytics can play a critical role for them. So investment may go there as well such as service orchestration, uh, network orchestration, and analytic solution. That's a key point to note. And obviously, uh, in, in Ericsson's case, we have about 1,000 plus install base, our, uh, our current system called OSSRC system. And we will integrate this analytic solution uh, based on each operator needs. Uh, almost 1,000 installation will go ahead and do that. Thank you very much. <laughs>